Now, before I start creating the RDT and performing some transformations and actions on it, let's understand what what is this app name, master, etc. So, if I go here, the app name parameter, which has which we have passed as the symbol string as path first program, which is our class name. The app name parameter is, is a name for the application to show on the cluster UI. In the previous video, we have seen that we have got a Spark Web UI context, uh, which can be uh, which can we can observe on 4040 port on localhost. So this is not talking about the same thing. Whatever app name that we give here, it will be appearing as a, as a top page name on on that web UI. Now the next parameter is, is master, and we have passed this a string as local star right so here it means that or a special local string so we can pass several parameters here which is detailed here the master urls passed to spark can be in one of the following formats it can be just local so we have used this one right local and bracket stars which means that run spark locally with as many worker threads as logical cores on your machine what it means is that in my laptop i have got four uh, cpu cores so it means that it will use all those four uh, CPU cores, which, which will be working as worker threads. These worker threads are required in the executors node or the slave nodes where we are performing all this operation. So this is talking about all those worker threads that will be created on each of the worker nodes. Okay, so there are several parameters here. So if I don't pass this star and we just pass local, it means that run Spark locally with one worker thread. That is no parallelism at all. I think uh, we should avoid this type of uh, this this parameter because it, there will be no parallelism. Similarly, there are several other parameters. For example, we can have local k, any number of uh, like uh, uh, k worker threads that we want. It, uh, suppose we have got four, uh, we can create like less than four. If you want only like two or three, we can pass it here. So ideally, it's also given that this set this to the number of cores on your machine. So using this star is the optimal approach. And you can go on your own uh, for, for various other uh, parameters that we can pass here. So if you are running uh, on the Spark uh, standalone cluster mode, which will be do, which are do, doing right now while running the test cases locally, so we can also pass these parameters. And similarly, if you are running on the Yarn cluster or Mesos cluster, similarly we can provide the different parameters here. So this was about this master with whatever parameter we are we are providing here. For local testing and unit tests, we can pass local to run Spark in progress. So one one thing to uh, point out here is that if we are running it in, into an actual actual cluster, for example, uh, AWS EMR, in that case, we avoid this parameter totally. We don't need this parameter because Spark automatically will uh, use the Spark submit, which will uh, uh, learn later. It will automatically uh, use the cluster manager and allocate the resources accordingly, the number of threads and everything else. So this was about uh, this uh, uh, only two parameters, app name and master. Now let's pro proceed with creating the RDD and performing some actions on it.